looks so cool. Next time I'll be sure to put the sticky stuff on. Jack's gonna be have an aviary of parrots in his backyard, I can tell. You're doing an amazing job, okay? Now explain this to me. This is where I went, what? Um, so today, we got up a little late, but look what I'm making. Dun, 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 dun. They look so cool. It is a Mickey egg. What do you Mickey mean? egg is strong. It was an ultimate fail. <laughs> I'll, I'll retry it. Next time I'll be sure to put the sticky stuff on. Okay guys, the second one wasn't an entire fail. My ARD cruise. Oh. I messed up. It turns out that the little rubber thingy that I used it wasn't heavy enough to stay down, and the eggs started spewing off the sides. So, yeah. It's the acid. Come here, Bobo. We have a the acid. They don't want to go back. Come on, come here. I'll get Buddy. Buddy, come here. They're both on me. They're both on me. I'm gonna they're put both. them on Jack's head. They're both on me. No. Stop, 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 stop. No, 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 no. You see, you can be a ticket. Wee! Jack's gonna be have an aviary of parrots in his backyard, I can tell. Ain't that right, Jack? Heading to school. It's cold outside. <laughs> Baby, it's cold outside. Well, check this out. It's cold. This is what happened in the last two days. I'm glowing. Look at that. That's like probably four inches of snow. <laughs> uh, uh. I'm dreaming of a white February. Well, good morning, good morning, everyone. Did you like Hallie's little good morning? She was so, she was so cute this morning when she was making her breakfast. She made her Mickey Mouse egg and she was so proud of it and then she went to eat it and she got all upset and threw it away. And I'm like, what's the matter? She's like, there were shells in it. <laughs> she felt so bad. And I said, well, just make another one. And she did, and there was no shells in it. And it was funny, so we had to talk about it. it's just practice and it's okay. Shells get an egg sometimes and it's not a big deal. You just try again and you know, keep practice, practice, practice. So she and the other kids are off to school. Um, today is, if I can think clearly, um, it's yoga day today. And I'm not quite sure how that's gonna fan plant see I can't even think straight I'm not sure how that's gonna work with all of this in my head it's gonna be an adventure and it will be interesting so it's yoga day today and it snowed again last night so there's more snow outside that I think Callie showed you and we're loving the snow looking forward to spring Getting outside, digging in the dirt, pulling weeds, planting flowers, just being able to go outside in the sunshine and just sit on the grass and talk or read or anything like that or sit in the hammock. Hmm, springtime is gonna be fantastic. I'm looking forward to it. It's another day. It's another day, you guys, and I hope you're making it a good one. I'm gonna make it the best that I can, for sure. And all you 
hard workers out there that put in the long hours to support your families and stuff. And you guys are fantastic. I cannot tell you how grateful I am for and how hard Jake works for our family. And he's always, even though he's had like a hard day at work, he does his absolute best to come home and just be present for the family and just to be optimistic and happy. And he's, he's an amazing, amazing man, so. Sorry, a little personal, but. So all of you that are putting in the long hours, you're doing an amazing job, okay? Keep at it and it's appreciated even though it's not always voiced. Okay. All right, kids are home from school. They've actually been home for a while, but we've been dropping people off at birthday parties and going, buying birthday presents and all that stuff. And so we've just been blah, 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 blah. But Jack has <clears throat> got his work, his work? What is this called? A book report. <laughs> his book report is done. And it's an interesting kind of um, presentation that her, his teacher is having them do. And I'm gonna have him explain it to you because I went like this. What kind of book are you reading? <laughs> <laughs> Right, so, <clears throat> our teacher had us do the title at the top and then main character, setting, like that's mostly the setting in the book, mm -hmm. but then the problem in the story and then your favorite thing about the character. And okay. so, the main character is Jack and he he's trying to get through the monster apocalypse. Mm -hmm. And he finds out that his friend is alive and he finds out that the guy who bullies him is alive and finds out that the girl that he likes is alive, mm -hmm. hidden in the school. Mm -hmm. And so he goes and finds her. And then the setting is mostly in the book, is they're usually in the tree house mm -hmm. that's like guarded with like, like, um, uh, crossbows oh, geez. and cannons and stuff. Man. And it's like, it's really cool because they like upgraded a lot. And then the problem in the story is this monster called the Blarg. Mm -hmm. And Jack has this like um, little list that he has to get through in order for him to have like the monster piglet apocalypse um, accomplished badge. Oh my gosh. And he has this list of what he has to do, like defeat 10, ten zombies and in like 15 hours and stuff. It's like Boy Scouts meets zombie yeah. apocalypse. Oh jeez. Uh, one of his, <laughs> one of his um, things that the last thing he has to do is defeat the Blarg. And that's that guy? Yeah, that guy. He's like a zombie mixed with an ape, but like as tall as the Empire State Building. Then you drew that? Yeah. Looks cool. Now explain this to me. This is where I went, what are you reading? This is a baseball bat that got broken and um, the end is razor sharp and he uses it to defeat zombies and there's a zombie tooth in it and zombie blood stuff on it. See, that's where I went, what the what are you reading? So was this an uplifting happy book? Kind of. Kind of. He finds his friend. <laughs> okay, yes, that's good. He doesn't know where his, he's, he's an orphan. Is he? He's bounced around home, so he doesn't really care hmm. who dies, because the people who who adopt him, are they, they just adopt him for, like, work. Mm. Like, so they do his chores and stuff. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't, he's gotten, like, he's gotten buff over the, over the years. Hmm. So he's, yeah. So is this an is this just a one book or is there is it a series? A series. No. This is the first book. Oh boy. Are you gonna read the second one? Probably. Really? They kinda ended on the cliffhanger. They always do. Yeah. See why I went, I don't know about this book. <clears throat> it's called The Last Kids on Earth. Last Kids on Earth. If you've read it, let us know. Apparently Jack thinks it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's not like scary, it doesn't like it's, not it's scary. kind of like a journal of the zombie, of the monster mm. apocalypse. So it's like, it shows his list of what he's trying to accomplish, and one of them is save the girl he likes, like, um, 
it says, save gentle in distress. <laughs> <laughs> like that? Yeah. That's funny. All right, well, book report done. That's all it needed, right? Yeah. Cool. And then when is this due? Next Friday. <laughs> Next Friday, and it's already done? Yeah. Add a boy. Add a boy. Took me like two days to read though. Good job. Good job. Guys, after all the fails I made this morning, I made one masterpiece. Anybody know what she's trying to say? Maya? Look at that. And I went to a birthday party. It was awesome. We did um I think it was like say it or something. Like it was shout out. And you had this like these like things that would go inside your mouth that would make your mouth wide, and I had to say um, whipped cream on pumpkin pie. You know whipped cream on pumpkin pie. It was crazy. Good night, guys. We hope you had a fantastic time watching. Be sure to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and click the bell and be the good. Okay guys, Hi. so I had this like amazing idea. Um, so we're gonna pick up the entire house and we are going to decorate it like Disneyland.